in this part, they want us to find the coordinate of D. Okay, so of course, uh, bear in mind that we already found uh, that T is actually equal to minus 1. So we actually have all the coordinates we ever need now, right? So probably just write it down. Right, so uh, A is 3, 0. Uh, as for B, all right, uh, when T is negative 1, negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. So 2 minus 1 is uh, 1, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to have uh, B to be uh, 1. And uh, of course, uh, negative 1 minus 2, that will be negative 3. So uh, B is uh, 1, negative 3. Okay, and for C, it's uh, over here. And that's my negative 5, 1. Okay, so how do we find D? Well, there are quite a few methods, a few ways to find D. Okay, uh, the most commonly used in, in schools will be, of course, uh, the midpoint. So you go and find the midpoint of AC right here, and then this midpoint will be the same as the midpoint for BD. Of course, uh, you let your D be X, Y, you know, that kind of thing, and then find your X and Y. So that will work, all right? That's probably one of the easiest way to do it. But some people may want to use gradient, right? So uh, gradient, you can use gradient, form an equation with X and Y, uh, form another gradient equation with uh, D and A, and then after that, uh, solve simultaneously. That will also work as well. Uh, some people may choose to find the equation of CD, or and the uh, equation of AD and then do the intersection also simultaneous equation so also will work okay but my favorite way is of course uh, something even faster and that will be this right if you think about it from B to A how I'm going to get from B to A right uh, this is at 1 right that's at 3 so I'm going to move forward by 2 units okay so I'm going to move forward by 2 and I'm going to move upwards by 3 because I'm at negative 3 and I move up that's how I get uh, 0. Alright, so same thing must happen here, right, for your C, D. So this will be uh, plus 2, and then uh, move up by 3 as well. So if you think about it, right, minus 5 plus 2, that is going to give you minus 3. Alright, uh, and then uh, 1 plus 3, so that's going to give you 4. And we are done. Okay?